equals prosperity. It's Seattle Dance Hall TV with special guest James from Giant Panda Gorilla Dub Squad. Correct. How you doing? I am doing great and wonderful to have you here. Thank you for joining us here. We're all about bringing different segments together and building unity, as I was telling you about. So tell me about your Panda Dub Squad. How did you come up with that? Well, Giant Panda Gorilla Dub Squad is a uh, collective of musicians from around the Rochester, New York area, uh, where there has been uh, reggae music, original reggae music since the 70s when reggae got international. Um, so we're kind of like the third generation of original Rochester reggae bands, and uh, we draw from a nice collective of musicians, and uh, I think the... Um, movement has been to uh, play really, you know, well-written songs. We're songwriters at the base of it, but the best way to deliver music to people, we think, is in the reggae aesthetic. So we try to kind of evolve that and keep that movement going uh, from where we're from. So we were talking about before, there's so many different kinds of reggae music around the world right now, and I think that's because everybody uh, takes what they've learned from where they're from and applies it to the reggae aesthetic and kind of makes their own version of it and very positive things. So I feel like we're a part of that. Well, that's wonderful. We're all about building community here, reaching different sectors. I was talking about Seattle has the most diverse uh, zip code in the country. So we're really proud of that. And we want to bring all those people together in your travels across different cultures and different areas. What would you say are some some things that you've learned to sort of relate to people as you go? Well, I think definitely that music is a universal language and uh, you can have that conversation with so many people from anywhere in the world and they will understand it. And uh, actually, Clinton Farron, uh, one of our heroes uh, from the Gladiators and from uh, Clinton Farron, the bass player, singer-songwriter, uh, came out to say hello to us today because we had requested him to come to the show. And uh, he, he said the same thing about how like it's such a it's such a tool of language to have music to be able to go around and a note in India is a note in America, you know, it's the same frequency and it hits you in the same way. So uh, I think uh, you can uh, believe that people are coming from different cultures and that they have their particulars of how they live their life, but you can really relate on that musical level and it's not really so different. Um, it's a good starting point is music. I've definitely learned that from playing uh, with all sorts of different people, whether they speak English or not. We can always, it's like your best friends once you play music together, you know? It's a beautiful thing. So let's educate young people about music and spread different languages and cultures around. It's such an important thing. So thank you so much for what you do. Um, I wanted to have a conversation a little bit about how music is compartmentalized. Do you think that restricts you if you give yourself one of those genres? Uh, I think that it's been said to restrict people in the past. Uh, we certainly get told um, don't limit yourself to the reggae genre because there's a ceiling and you'll only grow to affect so many people. But um, I don't think musicians really think of things like that uh, or artists in that sense. I think we all draw from so many different sources uh, and then present it in the way that we want to present it and there's an efficient way to present it and you know the reggae aesthetic you can hear uh, any you can hear any style of music uh, that is coming from the reggae aesthetic it might not sound anything like reggae but it has those fundamental ideas about space and balance and things like that so yeah uh, I it we are musicians you know we don't make up uh, we don't really make up categories so there's good and there's great. So let's go for great, everyone. <laughs> great. Keep it great. <laughs> here in Seattle, and I heard you guys have been super busy. Where do you come from and where are you going to next? We went, uh, this is actually the last show of a tour that started in San Diego. We took it all the way up the coast. Uh, it's called the In Roots We Trust Tour. And uh, what the idea was is that we took our favorite American reggae bands, being the Simpkin Project and the Expanders, both are from Southern California. And and we decided to 
uh, travel up the coast together and with the spirit of that we all play a different kind of roots reggae we all play roots reggae but it all sounds different um, so we think that's pretty cool we all represent from you know different little areas um, so that's been the tour that we're on tomorrow we're all going home so taking a little while off well thank you for making time for Seattle and Seattle Dance Hall TV where unity equals prosperity I guess um, I'd love to hear about any other new things you have going on so we can spread the news. How can we learn more about you? Uh, you can go to livepanda.com. We're also, uh, f- you know, we're all over uh, the internet, whether you search for Giant Panda Gorilla Dub Squad or Giant Panda Dub or Live Panda or GPGDS. You know, there's a lot of different ways to get connected with us. Uh, so we have new music coming out, two new albums that are going to be coming out uh, this summer and uh, we're always doing these things so keep in touch it's a it's an exciting community to get in touch with this is james panda from giant panda gorilla dub squad here on seattle dance hall tv wanting to tell you that prosperity equals unity